The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Welcome to the offices of Duke and Duke, 100 South Broad Street, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. The offices will be closed today because of the Jewish holiday. Mortimer and Randolph, of course, will be going to the temple. And I'd like to bring this to your attention, folks. We'll put up the DAX here. Then I want to give you a little bit of history that you may or may not enjoy. I certainly enjoy it, so I'm going to share it with you. One of the most fun times at Drexel, and believe me, it was uh, primarily a Jewish firm. We had uh, in the pen there on the first floor, there were, there were 23 brokers. There were 19 uh, Jewish brokers. There were uh, three, three, uh, three Caucasians, myself, Twentyman, and one other uh, lady, uh, Adora Chan. She was Chinese, and we celebrated all of the bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs. And I got a phone call from both of my daughters and Jim Twentyman over the weekend to remind me that it was Rosh Hashanah today, which is the start of the Jewish New Year, which you say as Shana Tova. That means Happy New Year in Yiddish. And then, of course, eight days later, they have Yom Kippur, which is the High Holy Days. I remember that very vividly because in 1966, Sandy Koufax pitching for the Dodgers would not pitch against the Yankees on that game in the World Series, which the Dodgers lost, but they still won the series. Uh, Koufax uh, lived uh, right near Westlake Village. He lived on the little hill across the, the way from Westlake Village, Malibu Lake. That's where his um, father-in-law, Richard Widmark, the actor, uh, lived. And his he was married to Linda, and that was uh, his wife. And we used to see them in the market, Gelson's, all the time there in the Westlake Village. Always a gentleman. Everybody, he would chat with everybody and sign autographs. Just a real class act. Very small guy. He was only like five foot eight, very frail and thin. But my God, he had an arm like a thunderbolt. Anyway, it was really fun during those years, and uh, uh, especially on Shana Tova, they had this giant sh uh, shrimp boat. Twentyman reminded me about it, that it was just filled with shrimp, and they just kept filling it all day, and people would come from, walk, they'd walk in from the street just to get, uh, you know, some of the shrimp and the hors d'oeuvres that they had. So anyway, those are just fun times that I, I certainly remember. Uh, all of the, the bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs were held at the, either the Beverly Hills Country Club or the um, uh, Riviera Country Club. Those were the two that they used. The Los Angeles Country Club, that's the Waspy place in Los Angeles. That's the most exclusive club in all of California, folks, is the L.A. Country Club. And I believe they're having the U.S. Open there this next year, which is very unusual. The reason why, it's all judges and uh, bankers is what it what it's all about. They're very waspy, and it's right on Wilshire Boulevard. If you ever go down that way, you see all kinds of big trees there. Well, there on the other side of those trees is a giant oil wells that line the golf course, and that makes it so such a valuable piece of property. But uh, those are back in the old days. All right, let's take a look at that German DAX. You can see here that we went up to the 78% level. Nice little ABCD format and then has backed off just a little bit. If we take a look at the FTSE, it looks like Boris Little Trump Johnson has got some teeth into his uh, program for exiting Brexit because the uh, market's still looking strong. It looks like we're going to make a triple top up there in the FTSE if Boris can keep his act together. <laughs> Mazel tov, Marshall. That means good luck. You got it. <laughs> you know, the really funny part is I remembered so many things, but one of the things that after I'd been with Drexel for about a year, they used to joke with me about all the Yiddish stuff that I would that I would do. We had three rabbis that were stockbrokers there in that office, and uh, it was really fun because they put on our, each of the offices were were separate. We had private offices, but they were all glass. 
so that you could see what was going on in the offices and who was there and stuff. But on my door, they put, uh, you know, I was a, ran the commodity department, and they put um, <laughs> resident Goya, G-O-Y-A, which means uh, non-Jew. <laughs> and when I left, I really wanted that door, but they wouldn't let me have it, so I never did get it. But I had a picture of it at one time, but it disappeared along with a lot of other pictures that I had over the years. So we'll move on here and talk about some of these other things. If you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. And please uh, let us know. Send out some white light, folks. Uh, one of our very, very dear friends, I'm not going to say which one it is, uh, one of our uh, guests that we have has a family member that is not not just just has some illness that we need to have some uh, prayers for so be sure you do that and we want to say shana tava to mr norm winsky of course and we'll be able to see it <clears throat> you know the uh, the uh, this this reminds me that uh, on this lunar cycle that they have here between rosh hashan and yom kippur uh, ira harris when i was back on the floor of the exchange this was back in 82 and 83 long before i was looking at uh, astrology stuff he had said that it was it was a uh, it was a Hebrew uh, signal, stock market signal. You buy on Rosh Hashanah and you sell in Yom Kippur. And, uh, you know, that's it. Um, I don't know what the Sensex index is, um, uh, Terry. Uh, I'm way past that uh, part of my life. But uh, India? No, I don't know anything about it. Uh, sorry. No. Don't don't know anything about India. We, you know, I have several students from there that they they send it to me occasionally, but I haven't got one for a while. I believe it's been going straight up, as I recall. I, I think I saw something on Bloomberg last week that it was very very strong, but I I don't I really don't know. I'm just guessing, and that's not a good thing to do when you're when you're doing some of these things. So let's uh, with a lot of things happening, folks. One of the things, of course, is what we we alerted you folks in the newsletter was the fact that this euro was just getting ready to break down below uh, major support. And that is, in fact, uh, uh, you'll see here that uh, we're, we're getting, well, we're there. <laughs> we're almost there already. So uh, that's a very interesting thing. Now, remember, folks, that's the daily. But if you take a look at the euro on the weekly, you know, this is what you're looking at here. I mean, we've been, we've been showing this at least every other week to show you that these A, B, C, B, D patterns, the last one in June, you notice was a 382. The one before that was 382. Those are bearish, folks. You know, we're heading down to between 107 and 104, and I believe we'll probably get to par, you know, sometime because we were we were at par back in uh, 2000 because uh, my grandson was born in August of that year, and uh, it, I believe the euro was trading for about 85 or 90 at that time, and it went up to 160, and then uh, you know here it is now back at uh, 108 and change, heading to looks like 105. That's what it looks like to me. Now the pound is held up, but you know, it's just a matter of time. I mean, it doesn't look very bullish uh, for the British pound. If you take a look at this, here we're seeing the exact same thing, and that is the 382 retracements again. Uh, the last one, of course, we we talked about that. We, you know, we went long down there. We had a nice run, but you know, it stopped right at the 382, 125.80. You know, we're now trading down in the 122 uh, uh, to 123 range. And if we don't hold, uh, you know, 121, you know, this has got a this has got a handle down there, uh, really close to 107 on the long term chart. So, you know, if maybe the um, Brexit thing doesn't work out, maybe that'll be something that will be. Um, be a little bit difficult to look at. So anyway, that's what we're looking at. We've got a break coming up here pretty quickly, and then we're going to look at a few things in the commodity markets that look interesting here. 877-927-6648. Keep those cards and letters coming in, folks. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading 
trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, before we talk about a couple of these futures markets, I want to talk a little bit about the global debt. This comes from the uh, Deutsche Bank, from through the Financial Times. Uh, basically, it's showing that global debt is at its highest level in peacetime. If you notice World War II there, that's when we had to refinance everything. Uh, then you can see the, the drop of debt during the Great Depression, but the patterns are still there. And if you look at this real closely, you'll see that we're at Mark's global financial crisis there, folks. That's point C. You can see point A back in 1974 when interest rates were, you know, 13 percent for T-bills. And that completes an ABCD pattern, folks, if you like those kinds of patterns. The one thing I know for sure, and I really believe this, is this thing about negative interest rates is the biggest crock of malarkey that they've ever tried to feed us. And believe me, they've tried to feed us a lot of things. And this is one that I think uh, people are going to go back and say, you're joking. They really did that? And I say, yeah, well, maybe so. We'll have to wait and see. All right, let's take a look. We have a question. Uh, someone asked about Bitcoin. I want to get this up here for just a second, and you'll be able to take a look at it here. You'll be able to see that, uh, you know, we're really starting to break down now. We're, we're, we're holding around the 8,000 level this morning, so we've held that ABCD pattern uh, relatively well. But frankly, it's, it's looking rather suspicious because of that big move down that we had on the, uh, the 24th of February. So we'll see that. Um, yes, Bill, the euro is breaking. The, 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 the last support in the euro bill is at uh, 108930. So that's the last spot, last spot that uh, we can see. Uh, it's in the charts. If you get the 24-7 newsletter, you'll be able to see it. It's it's quite easy to see the, the ABCD pattern that's there. But uh, frankly, uh, the longer term charts in the euro certainly tell us that that we're heading for uh, lower prices is uh, what it looks like. Now, we're in the midst of the uh, 
the harvest stuff coming in, folks. As a matter of fact, tomorrow's a big day because uh, it is the October 1st. Uh, that'll be the, the full moon. It's the big, big holiday. It's the anniversary of the 70 years of uh, communism, so it's going to be a big thing in uh, uh, China. But there's all kinds of fighting in Hong Kong, folks. I mean, it's uh, it's really, really bad. Now, I wanted to show you something uh, because you know I I, wa I watch the charts. I don't I don't really watch the news. But if you take a look at the at the Hong Kong market here, let's just get this up here to see it because you'll notice that we were uh, right at the 61 percent retracement, and they had a terrible weekend, folks. I mean, if you watched any of the news, you can see that the you know this looks like a war zone. I mean, I can't believe it's Hong Kong. I mean, these are the streets that we walk when we go over there. I mean, I. I, I'm just shocked. Uh, but anyway, it actually held. We made a slightly lower low than we did on Friday, but the market reversed and, uh, you know, closed higher. So maybe it's a one-day phenomenon. I don't know. But uh, hopefully maybe it's not going to be nearly as bad as they think it is uh, tomorrow. But it's going to be pretty nasty over there. It's a holiday. Uh, actually, it's a four-day holiday, so it's even going to be uh, one thing that that's apparent that, that people don't understand is there's not a lot of drinking uh, among those folks over there. I mean, they there are a lot of teetotalers, so when they're out there, you know, protesting and stuff, they're not they're not a lot of bunch of drunks like we see in some of our protests. So uh, <clears throat> anyway, I hate to see that happening, but we'll see what goes on. I do not think China will come in and uh, do anything really dramatically. Now I've. Asked, uh, I was not asked, but I, someone asked me to discuss this pattern that we're going to look at right now here uh, in the New Zealand dollar. Here's a cross rate that I don't trade very often because the spread is quite high. But you'll notice we had the three drive to a bottom pattern down there at point one. Then you can see the one, three, five pattern. This is a very, uh, I'm not in this trade, but this is what we're looking at here. If it's any good, you're not going to see that euro below 67.50. So that is a very, very low risk because if it goes below that level, you're going to be looking at uh, much, much lower prices in that New Zealand. And the key to this, and this is what the person asked me to talk about, would it be safe to sell below 0.5, or if it breaks 0.5, which would be at 0.6745? And my answer to that would be yes, because all you have to do is to uh, quantify, you know, where you are with the um, with the amount of risk. And if you're only going to risk 30 points, I mean, you've got a possibility there of at least 90 to 120 points to the downside on that New Zealand dollar with a risk of only 30 pips. That's that's three to four to one. That That's uh, mother God and country. You have to try those. Someone's asked to take a look at the old uh, Canadian, the Australian dollar, and we're doing the same thing. Well, you can see they're very, very close. Here's the Australian. We'll get this up here so you can see it. This is a very nice one because you can see a very clear head and shoulders pattern there. Uh, uh, I believe we're trading pretty much at that same level, 67, 65 uh, this morning. I checked it earlier, but um, that's a that's got a chance here, you know, because of that big A B C D going from uh, March, from April into June, up into the July, and then down into uh, September, where we have this uh, uh, head and shoulders pattern from August the 5th to well, where we are right now. August the 5th, of course, was one of the big lunar cycles, and now we've got the other one here uh, coming in today. With the uh, with the full moon that happened on the uh, the twenty seventh, excuse me, that was a new moon that happened on the twenty seventh, not a full moon. So we need to watch that uh, uh, very very closely. Okay, um, and that uh, the, uh, the the Rosh Hashanah starts today, and it is a. Um, I already mentioned that it's a part of the Hebrew Bible, an eight day cycle. So I, I did a lot of work on that. Uh, when I first started doing the Astro Cycles book, but frankly, I couldn't find anything that you know looked look, looked okay. Sometimes buying on Rosh Hashanah looked pretty good, and other times selling on Rosh Hashanah looked pretty good. So it was basically a shorter term cycle. And if you if you stick with the patterns, I think you'll be far better off than if you uh, try to get some of these shorter term ones that we don't get. But uh, 
got to watch those full moons and new moons, especially when you have, uh, you know, lunar phases like apogee and perigee. Uh, I'm going to cover gold here when we get back. I'll post a chart because I believe that we've been talking about this for quite some time. We'll start it here, and then when the break comes up, we'll continue to do more on it. But here is the um, four-hour chart on gold going back over the last several months. Uh, there's the head and shoulders pattern. It is as about as perfect as you can get, folks. You notice the left shoulder over there, exactly at the right shoulder, 1544. Distance between shoulder head, head and shoulder, very, very close. The ABCD structure comes in down here at 1472. That's a 1.618 expansion. It's a major ABCD pattern at 1470 an ounce. We're only 20 some dollars away from that. We could be there very quickly. That number in silver comes in around 1860, and uh, that's another one that's going to be a big ABCD. Those are going to be the things that determine whether this high that we had at 1565 on the 786 on the weekly gold chart is uh, the main, that's it, that we're done. You know, that gold's going to, it's had its uh, $500 rally from the low we had at 1060. And then uh, we could be looking at, uh, can you believe that? Back in December, we had gold at 1060. We got a heck of a move in that one. So it'll be others that come up, of course. So we'll see what's uh, moving on uh, through this time period. Uh, we'll, we'll come back here. We'll talk a little bit more about the silver market. 877-927-6648. Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you and your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, let's take a look at this silver chart. As you can see here, the, we've got that ABCD structure down at 1660. We've already taken out Friday's lows, so it does look like it's moving down towards that direction. Whether it'll get there or not remains to be seen, but the pattern is certainly there. I wanted to share one other pattern with you since we were talking about debt and bonds because this is one that uh, is uh, interesting to us because you'll notice here that we had that 61% retracement here in the trade. Treasury notes back here on the 25th, uh, up at 130 and change. You can see where we are now. We're trading at 130 and change here. If we get below 130, folks, uh, you know, that's a very negative sign, and that would be also negative to bonds. That means higher rates, and uh, that people are not really expecting to see higher rates, but that's always a possibility. And remember, these are all just patterns that we're looking at, folks. These are, you know, nothing based on fundamentals at all. I, I'm just looking at the pattern. So we'll be able, be able to see if, uh, if it holds up uh, at that level or not. That's uh, one of the main things that we want to keep a uh, very, very close eye on. Now we're going to change gears here, and we're going to go over to uh, San, uh, not San Clemente, over to uh, San Diego, down by the naval base there, where my good buddy Jim Bartolioni is living the life of Riley there on the beach with his lovely uh, wife and his, uh, his son. And I wanted to bring something to your attention that he looks at quite a bit that we don't see here very often, and that is palladium. As you can see here, this is a uh, monthly chart since uh, 1996 in palladium, and you'll notice that we're at this 1.618 expansion right here, folks, and uh, I want you to see that uh, we, we hit that puppy pretty much spot on last night, and I don't know if that's going to be it or not, but uh, you got to pay attention to this gentleman's work because uh, he he does a uh, he does a tremendous job with it, but that 1.618 up there is pretty important. Any close above uh, uh, 16,900, 16,000, excuse me, 1690 in Palladium would certainly tell us it's probably going to go a little bit higher. But it hit that exact number last night to me, which was which was uh, which was quite amazing. I wanted to share one other one with you because what he did was he took the uh, price of Palladium and overlaid it on the price of the NASDAQ. I, I have no idea what this means or not, but you'll notice if you look at that red arrow there, which is the candlesticks uh, for the uh, 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 you can see that, well, you can see that the candlesticks there uh, for the uh, uh, weekly chart there that makes that a beautiful butterfly top up in there also whether that's indicative of something really big happening or not you know remains to be seen but you can see the large ABCD structure between 2016 and the, into July of 2018 that measured right up there so that's one of those you want to keep I have no idea what palladium is used for folks I, I know it's a, a precious metal of some kind or an exotic metal but I, I sent it on because his work is so uh, unique and so very, very accurate. So whenever Jim sends me something, I certainly pay attention to it. I had uh, Jim Bartolioni was one of four of a group of uh, uh, pilots, Navy pilots. They were all in the same group. There was um, uh, Black Bart. That was uh, Jim Bartolioni. Um, Bucky was the number two. Spider was number three. And number four was uh uh, Rooster, and he was the he was the Top Gun, and he he works for the NSA, and uh, he's in the top secret stuff. So I don't get to talk to him too much anymore. But as soon as he retires, he's going to get back into trading quite a bit. But he's very very busy these days, as you can imagine, with all the stuff that's going on. It was interesting to to say to see today that um, the uh, Navarro the. Uh, 
one of these uh, guys at the at uh, at the White House said that the thing that came out with the uh, price controls on the Chinese stocks and stuff was all fake news. Well, they certainly uh, they certainly embellished it. So you you got to be careful what's out there, folks. Most of the stuff that we're listening to is so much baloney that it's just it's actually sad to see this happening to our country. But and I guess it's part of the development of of going through it. We went through it, of course, 20 years ago with um, <clears throat> Mr. Clinton, but we'll probably go through it another 20 years. And 20 years before that, it was Mr. Nixon. So we'll we'll see uh, what happens uh, with some of these things here that we're looking at. Okay, let's take a look at a couple of these future charts that uh, look real interesting. I'll tell you folks, the one uh, the one that looks pretty interesting here is the corn. If you take a look at this, uh, take a look at this corn chart. You'll notice that we had a uh, really nice bottom down there. We had a beautiful three drive pattern. You can see. Uh, then we had a pretty good move. We're trading around 13. Excuse me, <laughs> around 374 a bushel. You know that's only up about 25 cents from the bottom. But you know this thing has really had a heck of a move. What's interesting is if you look at that 135 pattern, folks. Remember when we had the uh, all the rain back in May and June, and there was all the corn was going to be underwater, and there wasn't going to be any corn at all? Come on, folks, just look at the chart. My goodness, I mean, you don't have to read the newspaper or read the weather report. And we got a big report today too that's going to be indicative of what the crop's going to look like. That comes out at 11 o'clock. Hopefully, we'll have Rich Anderson on tomorrow to help us. But look at that one three five pattern that we had between June and July. It's absolutely perfect. One to three is exactly 78%. They're equal between one, three, and five. I mean, my goodness. And then you break down really hard. Then you have an eight-day rally right up to a 382 retracement, and the thing drops 70 cents. Uh, uh, a bushel. I mean, <laughs> you don't have to. You don't have to be a, a rocket science to, to do some of these things. Just try to look at some of these patterns. I mean, you know, they don't work all the time, but nothing else does either. So, you know, sort of pay. Uh, you know, pay close attention to that. That's I think is one that looks, uh, you know, pretty interesting. So we'll see. Now I wanted to. There's one other one that's acting very, very badly. And that is this one right here. We're going to get this up right now. This is the. Uh, this is the crude oil. As you can see here, we have a, a low the other day at 54 on Friday. We had a low of 54.58. Uh, the low tonight so far has been 58.92, I believe. We're trading about 55 and change right now, but that is a that's a 135 pattern. You can see it very clearly. It's 18 days between one and three, 18 days between three and five. You can see the cycles there. There's also that old Hearst thing, which is the nominal cycles. You'll see two of these usually, and then after this. It starts to expand and contract, and that's why the her stuff only worked for one or two cycles during 19. Uh, 72 to 1974, it worked that way for two years. And after that, it never worked again. So it usually shifts after two cycles. And the reason for that is, and I'm not 100% sure of it, but 85% sure that it is astrological related. But whether it means anything or not, you know, I'm not, uh, I'm not too sure. Uh, when we get back from the next break, we want to talk about uh, Ruby, the sugar queen, and the her hogs. And we'll uh, see some of these other markets that start to uh, acting relatively nicely here uh, this week. And we know, you know what the risk is on these for sure, but we'll, we want to watch some of these. We'll start out uh, discussing the uh, March sugar when we come back uh, from the break. So if you have any questions, it's 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. 
The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I want to talk just a, a tad here about the, uh, you know, the process of looking at these patterns and things, because that's the easiest part of doing the trading. You know, uh, one of the things that Mark used to talk about by the way, uh, his birthday uh, was last Friday. I think I mentioned that. Uh, also, um, he, he used to talk about in order to learn something new, uh, you first have to get, get rid of something old. And that's one of the things that if you become a, a person that looks at technical pictures instead of fundamentals, you have to get that fundamental mindset out because the market follows the trend and the charts will tell you whether they're buying or selling. And that's the, the real key of uh, what we're looking at right now. So we'll have to wait and see. Regarding the uh, crude oil, folks, uh, it has a very bullish bias today. It hasn't shown that as of yet. Uh, last night, it opened a little bit higher, right at the 78% level of the previous day's high, up there around uh, 56.12. Uh, uh, we went, broke all the way down to 54.90, dropped a little over a dollar a barrel. And now we're starting to come back a little bit. But any move above 50, below 54.80 today would tell us that this pattern is not working. But it should start working if it is, in fact, going to be bullish. And remember, you know, we're looking at possibly some of the most bullish news we could have as far as war with Iran and Saudi Arabia and U.S. and Germany and who else is involved. I don't know. But there's going to be a whole bunch of them that, uh, that uh, line up in here. But remember, I want to just a few of these things, but the uh, most important thing that you want to remember is your belief system that you have. You have to be able to really understand that what you're looking at, you really believe in what you're doing, and you have to get rid of your memory system. You have to be able to get rid of the, the past trades that you did. you got to forget about that you know, uh, as, as best you can, because if you don't, it's just going to linger on like a sore, and so as soon as you have a bad trade, forget it. It's no different than if you're 
you know, teaching a child how to ride a bicycle. If they fall over, you don't sit there and chastise them about falling over. You know, you help them up and get on and moving. My, my little four-year-old, when she was learning to ride a bike, she would not take any help. She stood at that curb and uh, did it herself, and she fell over and got banged up and scratched up, never cried at all. But, boy, did she have a smile on her face when she was finally driving around that cul-de-sac there in Westlake Village, and she did it all by herself. And she did the whole rest of her life that way, folks. <laughs> so uh, I guess what you learn when you're little, sometimes it helps, so it makes it uh, what you're doing. You know, you, you know, someone said, do you need, you know, you need psychological help if you're going to be doing trading? I don't really think that's the case. Some people probably do. The one thing you want to watch, though, is watch your habit patterns. Because if you're if you're drinking too much or using, you know, uh, stimulants like drugs, that's that's a really a bad sign because that doesn't help your trading uh, at all. So uh, those are just a few of the things that I remember back from the days of the uh, the Merck. We used to go into that uh, lounge there, and you, it's it, it smelled like you were at a airline a bar. There was so much uh, <laughs> so much alcohol going on because that's what they used as uh, their method of uh, your primary, uh, 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 what do you call it, stimulant, <laughs> was the uh, vodka uh, or gin. Anyway, just, you just remember that. It's not good to, to do something like that. It's not, uh, not very important. Okay, remember, when you're doing trading, folks, this is not a guessing game. You know, what you're doing is, is you're trying to put the odds in your favor by looking at a pattern, determining that, yes, this is how much I'm going to risk to see whether I'm right or wrong. And that's the, the real, uh, you know, beauty of what you're you're trying to do. But you've got to believe in the system that you're, leaving, you're, that you're looking at. Uh, you know, I happen to look at pattern recognition swing trading. That's the one that I've worked on all those years. And, you know, I, I've uh, taught a lot of people to do it, some people better than others. Others, but uh, that's some of the things that you, you want to do. There's a lot of other ways of doing it. You, know, you can use oscillators. Anything that works for you that you believe in, that's the whole key you know, to uh, looking at these things. And I think that's what, uh, that's what, makes, uh, what, what makes it so important. So let's uh, sort of pay attention to that. It should be very interesting to see if, in fact, uh, you can do this if you plan on it. But you've got to be able to find something that uh, you actually believe in. And there's so many folks here at TFNN that offer some really great ideas. I mean, look at look at Steve. I mean, you know, he's in uh, he's in the top ring there of the uh, uh, Timer Digest. You know, we've had uh, Tim Bost on. We've had Arch Crawford on. We've had uh, T Tom uh, Stan Harley on, uh, you know, and a couple other, uh, Barry Rosen. I mean, we've had probably a half a dozen of those guys that are in there. And so all of them have some good ideas. But what you have to do is to find the one that you like that fits in with what you're looking at because it be, has to become yours. It can't be from uh, Larry Pesaveno or Steve Rhodes or Basil Chapman and David White or Tom O'Brien or anybody. It's got to be yours. And once it becomes yours, then that's what's important because nobody else can shake it away because you know what you're looking at. And that's the key to learn to do it yourself and take responsibility for your trades and you'll be, you know, far, far better off. So we'll see. Those are just a few of the things that we're looking at. And one of the things I, I mentioned in the newsletter this week, and I think it's important, is the fact that, you know, this past week, you know, we had a, uh, we were down 10 days. I want to bring this up to show you because uh, this is a critical level that we're setting it right now here. You, you'll notice that the, all we could do on Friday with all that news about the baloney with the uh, fake news on the exchange controls and all that stuff, all we could do was make a 382 retracement after 10 days. That's why when I came in this morning or last night, I was expecting the market to be a extremely strong because I thought that was a, a major bottom in here. Now, Ma, if we go below the low that we made on Friday down there at that 2940 level, we're trading at uh, 2970 at something like that. If we get below 2940, then that's telling us that this is uh, most probably getting ready uh, to uh, move a uh, move a little bit lower. And as you can see here on the longer term pictures that we're looking at, we already made the first one, 2728. We already made that level. Uh, this next level, of course, is 2650, and then 2550 uh, is the last support. Below that, we're looking at something uh, a whole lot more sinister, and I, I believe that sometime, I'm not sure when, but uh, and that, that's not much help, is it? But probably early next year.
uh, we'll probably be looking somewhere off the bottom of this chart if, in fact, this three drive to a top pattern that we've seen on the long term monthly chart is now uh, going to what's going to happen. So we'll see if that's it. Okay. All right. Now, what we're going to do here is, uh, oh, we got one. We got another minute to go here. Oh, we're t chatting a little bit about the natural gas here. I am very friendly to natural gas. I don't know how how low it got today. I wanted to get just a tad lower, but uh, I'm a re I'm very bullish uh, the natural gas because we are completing a major uh, ABCD pattern in here. Uh, I'd like to see it get down to about 232. I don't know what the low was. Uh, today I've been focusing too much on the euro and the notes and the bonds and the and the stocks. So oh, it came, wow, came within a buck. Wow, that's pretty good. Whoo, where's it at now, Mr. Bill? Uh, two thirty-three. I was looking at two thirty-two. Well, it's only that's a hundred dollars. Boy, that's pretty close. Well, it's only pretty close if you have an order sitting in there. So um, anyway, I, that that looks really interesting. Well, it's only move five. Yeah, keep it in there. I think I think you get two thirty two, uh, you got a pretty good chance at that. It's uh, you know we got this big lunar cycle that we're over now, and that might be enough to get it down to that level. You don't have to risk more than about three bucks uh, when you're trading that natural gas. And as Mr. Z has told us, this thing has a lot of zip when it starts zipping. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four. Eight, and we'll be right back to wrap it up. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stock Stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, it would be a miss if we didn't cover Sugar the Sweet here. We'll get this up here so Ruby can take a look at it. Uh, we went down and we held that $13 level pretty good in the March Sugar. We moved up, but we're still moving up today. Uh, that was a butterfly pattern down there because we took out the low of the 16th of January, and then we had that big wide range. I mean, it's not a lot of money there. It's only like $600, but for sugar, that's quite a bit. So it has possibilities here of uh, making a significant bottom here in sugar, but you do not want to see March sugar below $13 a pound from now on, folks, because that's been hit several times. That means there's strong support there, and you can see the big reversal when you got there the last time, which was just on Friday. So uh, you are continuing on uh, to the upside, but below $13. Uh, in sugar would not be a good thing. The hogs, uh, if those of you that take the 24-7 uh, letter, uh, you know, Ruby was pointing out the buy in hogs, uh, you know, two weeks ago when it was down, you know, eight cents lower than where it is right now. Same thing with the cattle. We will have Rich Anderson on hopefully tomorrow because we have that grain report today at 11 o'clock uh, Chicago time that'll bring some activity into the grain markets, I'm sure, as USDA reports uh, some of the planning stuff or the uh, uh, harvesting that's coming in right now. So that'll give us a better idea of what the crop is going to look like. Uh, but we will have Rich on just as soon as we can, probably tomorrow. And then later on this week, we're going to try to have Bill Meridian from Cycles Research in Vienna, Austria, talking about the oil situation that we have going on and a possibility of war. We want to look at that astrological chart to see if there's anything in that chart that says, yes, there's a possibility of of some major conflicts coming in here. And uh, we'll keep an eye on that one very, very closely. Um, also, folks, uh, those of you that uh, have, have an interest, uh, make sure that you um, say some prayers here for our friends that is having some uh, health problems here at the den. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but if you'll, uh, and it's not, it's not life-threatening, but it's, it's troubling to the family. So if you've got a chance to say a few prayers, please do. 877-927-6648. We'll see you on the flip-flop here at the offices of Duke & Duke. Shana Tova, my friends. Thank you.